Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and today I wanted to share with you guys what I gave and got for Christmas. Now, I know this video is a little behind schedule and late, but I recorded the second half of this video uh, for Vlogmas. I intended to post it on Christmas Day, and then things just got really busy, and being around my friends and family, just I felt like I didn't want to take time away from spending with them to do like Vlogmas stuff. And I think, I don't know if technically Vlogmas goes up to Christmas or if it goes beyond Christmas, whatever it is, I'm not really sure. And honestly, now my upload schedule on this channel is so thrown out of whack because of me doing Vlogmas. But this video will be posted on Friday, which is a typical upload date for mine. And then hopefully we'll get back to somewhat regular scheduling. If you're new here or you just never caught on to it, I typically upload videos on Fridays. Uh, and those are just like usually my eco-friendly type videos. I upload dumpster diving videos on Sunday when I have them and then sometimes I'm gonna get better about it on Tuesdays I upload extra videos and that could be like eco related or it could just be personal or whatever I feel like uploading really I think this channel is just becoming like a mash and if you're here for me then that's probably fine for you but if not then you can always count on an eco-friendly video going up on Friday quick other little updates before we get into this is that uh, I have videos planned uh, themes kind of planned for January February and March and January is like super random uh, I'm gonna be addressing a lot of things that you guys have been requesting and just random ideas that I have and then we'll move into more themed months uh, like where we're gonna focus on how to reduce your electricity consumption and your water usage so if you're interested in that make sure you give this video a thumbs up but like I said this video is going to be about what I gave for Christmas and what I received I filmed the what I was giving way back on December 24th I think and I'm filming this the day before you see it so the editing might be a little mashed but let's just go through it and as I talk about what I got for other people then I'll kind of cut in uh, and tell you what they got me does that make sense okay let's do it because I've had a lot of fun making a lot of content for you guys it's been a lot of work but it's been worth it because I love hearing your feedback I love helping answer your questions I love entertaining you if that's the least bit of what I do I just like making content and connecting with you guys so it's been so fun and thank you so much for being so supportive if you've seen every episode of vlogmas leave it in the comments below in this episode I want to tell you guys what I got other people for Christmas that's been a question pretty common on this channel since I started vlogmas is what do I get my family for Christmas how do I decide what I should and shouldn't buy them stuff like that I haven't said this I guess this year I said it last year but I think the most important thing to take into consideration when you're buying gifts for people is is it applicable to their life like will they use it will they give value out of this thing of course for my family sometimes what they want does not align with things that I believe in and that I like I'm about to tell you one of the biggest ones I'm just gonna tell you about this one because I don't want to show you it or I might show it no I probably won't because I'm gonna post this on Christmas Day and he's not gonna open it before then so so what I got my dad is a gun now this is where I tell you guys that I do not uh, like guns he's gonna get his concealed handgun license soon apparently or something I really I don't know what his plan is I just know that he has been a responsible gun owner since I've been alive I've grown up around a lot of guns because my parents hunt and they also use them for security around the house and I know that my dad is a responsible gun owner and he specifically wanted this gun because he doesn't have one like it and he wants it to I guess be his new carry around gun. I really was not crazy about the idea but I will tell you that I do think that buying someone something that they're going to get use out of is the most important thing and I'm I'm dead serious about that. I think it's very very important and other than that what my dad wanted was jeans. So go buy brand new jeans that I don't like supporting either or buy him something he won't use. That's the alternative. So me, my sister, and my mom all went in and paid for this gun that he wanted and that's what I got my dad for Christmas. They are made in the US so that's a good thing I guess. It wasn't manufactured overseas um, but yeah that wasn't an ethical buy it was just a smart buy to not waste my money or resources buying him something he didn't need. So I wanted to start off by telling you guys that. Really this year was kind of cool because I only had to buy for three people. So my mom, my dad, and then the rest of my family, my cousins, my sister, her boyfriend, uh, my aunt, all the people that I normally buy for decided to do like a secret Santa gift 
Now I'm really annoyed at the Secret Santa thing that we did because they made it complicated and made it by color, if that makes sense. So we all got a person and we all got a color. And so everything that we bought our person had to be a like a specific color. And it really made me mad because I feel like that's going to lead people to buying things that I won't like and that won't get used. And so that's why I say the biggest thing to keep in mind during this time of year is buy something that that person will use so that whatever you're buying doesn't go to waste. I think that's the most important thing to think about. So I only had to buy uh, for one Secret Santa instead of having to buy for I think like six people that I would have normally bought for. So that's really good. It's reducing the amount of things we bought, right? I think that was a really good idea. Madison and I decided we're not doing Christmas this year and not like everybody else when they say we're not doing Christmas and they still do it because a lot of people in my family said they're not doing Christmas and they're still doing it. Madison and I legitimately did not buy anything for each other for Christmas because we paid off all of our student debt and that is good enough for us this year. My secret Santa ended up being my aunt and her color was blue. The next thing I bought is a baker's rack for my mom. Now she specifically said that she wanted a baker's rack for her plants outside and that's exactly what we bought her. Now I got a really really good deal on this baker's rack because I did buy it second hand. I will buy things second hand where and when I can. I knew that she wanted a baker's rack and I knew that, that was something that people are often selling on Craigslist. So I went over to Craigslist. I found one that's really good quality, you guys. These sell for like, I think close to four or $500 when you buy them new. And I got it used for $100. So that was a killer deal and I was super pumped to find it. And that's basically all she got because it was $100 in and of itself. So I got her that and then the perfume she likes. That's, that's what I got my mom. So since I just got done talking about my mom and my dad, I figured I'd show you what my mom and my dad got me. Really, it's my mom buys me my presents and my dad gives us cash, but they always say that it's from both of them, but whatever. So my parents got me a few different things. My mom got me a lot of stuff because she doesn't understand how to not go overboard uh, with spending her money. And she promised me this will be the last year that she does that, the last year that she just buys random things. She claimed that some of the things that she gave me, she had bought like a year in advance. I think I explained that in the begin in the first part of this video, so whatever. I'm just gonna show you the biggest three things that are really exciting that she got me. Well, I say it's exciting. It's only probably really exciting for me because uh, it's for me and like my YouTube channel and my Instagram and stuff like that, but the lens I'm recording on right now, my mom actually got me for Christmas and it's a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens I think is what it is and I I already love it if you could tell my background is more blurred me I should be more crisp to you there should be more light in the shot and it's just a bit more dynamic and makes my shots in my videos look a lot more like I want them to um, than I was able to achieve with my old lens so of course that's a perfect gift and exactly what I asked for uh, it was a refurbished lens so I always try to buy things either refurbished or used and the second lens that she got me is a Tamron zoom lens uh, which is still in this box but it is second hand like you can tell it's been used before she did get it on Amazon while well, my sister ordered it for her for me but um, yeah you can get uh, secondhand things on Amazon as well and so this is just a zoom lens I don't you guys might think this is totally lame and like not exciting at all but uh, I really wanted a zoom lens for some photography shots that I plan to work on in the future and uh, this was just really helpful it's a good lens to have for me. And then the other thing that my mom got me that again is probably so nerdy and you guys are probably just like what why who cares uh, <laughs> is a steady cam. So I always ask for Christmas normally for things that I can't get second hand or things that are a little bit too expensive that I would never spend my own money on or things just in general for my YouTube channel like last year my mom bought me my lighting system for Christmas and this year she bought me those lenses and then this is the steady cam she got me. It this is like so nerdy if you're not into photography or like videos or whatever uh, but I have a lot of ideas for this channel and then I have like some travel plans and stuff coming up that I really wanted to get like good shots of things so like I got myself a secondhand drone a few months ago and then all these things are like just to shoot better footage for plans I have in the future so just stay tuned it yeah, you'll understand someday, but yeah, anyway, so you put your camera up here and it just, it's acts as like a gimbal, sorta, and it just helps your camera stay steady when you're like taking shots so it doesn't look jittery, um, and that's just really exciting to me. It's really good for traveling and like it'll make my shots look really cool and I'm just, I'm nerding out over that. But okay, uh, I think now is where I'll edit in what I got 
for my secret Santa and then I'll come back on and tell you what I got from my secret Santa and then I got my aunt some creative things I was really excited to get her so we had to spend $50 and like I said it had to be blue so I got her a couple candles that she really liked I made sure they were exact ones she wanted and I made sure that they weren't made of paraffin wax so they're not going to bother her brain and they're not going to be toxic to the environment they are made of soy so that's really good I was happy to have found those she likes her house to smell like pine and she also has an essential oil diffuser so I also got her some balsam fur essential oils and I need to put that in her box before I forget other things I got her for her box that I'm really excited to give her are things that she needs but she buys in really toxic forms if you guys didn't know Alzheimer's runs in my family I've mentioned that before for. But aerosol spray cans are linked to Alzheimer's. There are studies showing that the chemical compounds in those sprays lead to higher rates of Alzheimer's in people who use them. So I've cut them completely out of my life, but I know that she uses them all the time. And so I made her my own air freshener. I got some cobalt blue glass bottles, and then I'm going to make it out of a few different essential oils. I think there's lavender, myrtle, lemongrass, citronella, peppermint, and tea tree. And that's like the bathroom spray that can kill odors apparently really really well oh and witch hazel goes in there too so that's what's in these bottles other thing I got her was nut in bulk so she tries to keep her carbs really low because she has it's diabetes that makes her keep her carbs low so she can't eat a lot of sugar so I got her nuts and trail mix type stuff in bulk and then I put them in some stasher bags because she was asking me the other day about them actually on the phone she was telling me oh I heard that those can make your food last longer because they're not plastic they don't off gas the things that make uh, vegetables and fruits and stuff go bad faster so I thought I should get her some and then I found some that come in blue put her bulk nuts in there so she can eat them in the meantime and then whenever she's done with it she has the bags that she can use forever so that was a really good gift and then the other spray bottle I got her is bug spray because bugs apparently love her mosquitoes love to bite her and again this is another place that she uses very toxic stuff in her home so I wanted to make sure that I could get her something that isn't so toxic to be spraying on her body so that one I think is made of also witch hazel, uh, citronella, tea tree, and I think that's it. I think there might be one other essential oil that I have to put in there, but that's essentially what I got her. I packaged it really cute. I didn't get any additional packaging. I just used the box that I found around my house. I used a Trader Joe's bag that I found at my mom's house, and I made little cute notes to go around the whole box. Okay guys, so you definitely just heard me rant about the Secret Santa color thing. Um, I still kind of stand behind that. I think the color thing is not the best idea. Actually, once we all opened our things, I realized that it wasn't that big of a deal, and not everyone like received things that they would never touch or use just because it was a color that especially wasn't the case for me uh, some people I think got candy and stuff that maybe wasn't like the best for them just because it was like a color but for the most part I think everyone did pretty good my cousin got my name and she gave me this big round Oh, things are like tumbling around in there this big round box which is pretty cool because I can reuse it or I can donate it and someone else can reuse it so she didn't use any wrapping paper which is pretty cool uh, I think she did a really good job on this actually I was not angry about the things I received I think everything in here is usable because I made that a very clear point that whoever had me I need them to please not buy me anything that was like not completely totally useful and so maybe that wasn't as much fun because they kept saying that if we just did a secret Santa without a color it wouldn't be fun but like consumerism is not fun to me you're supposed to buy things that you need not that you need for fun that's just my opinion so I'll show you some of the things she got me they're not completely plastic free and zero waste and that's fine because honestly I think as long as the things were useful I would be happy and I am so the first thing she got me is pure coconut and argon oil bath and shower liquid soap uh, it says it's from France and it is in a plastic bottle like I said you can't hope for the best not everybody is aware that like you shouldn't buy plastic uh, products it's like not as widespread or wide known as some other things about the environmental movement right so I was pretty happy with this uh, the ingredients are super clean it's literally coconut oil vegetable glycerin argon oil and vitamin E and that's all that's in here so it's a super clean product and I will use it yeah 
this is definitely something that is useful that she got me because I can use it and it's not like completely impractical. If you don't know by like the lid of that and this, my color was orange, which is not horrible. I think it's a pretty good color to do like neutrals with. So the next thing she got me, there's a lot of stuff in here, but I'll just highlight some of the main things. I actually guessed that she was my secret Santa a few days before we did our secret Santa because she asked me what my favorite drink was when we were out eating. Uh, and she said, isn't it a Russian mule? And I just remember thinking to myself, why would you ask me that if you're not my secret Santa? Uh, turns out she was. Uh, my favorite alcoholic drink is a Moscow Mule. I don't drink often, but when I do, you can catch me drinking a Moscow Mule. So she got me a ginger beer because a Moscow Mule is made of ginger beer, lime juice, uh, and vodka, and mint. I think they put, they put mint on top. I don't know what they put in there. But yeah, so ginger beer is a huge part of that, so obviously this is orange. And then she took orange to another level and included copper, which this is the type of cup that a Moscow Mule always comes in. And I think these copper cups are so freaking cute, and I've wanted one for a long time, but really couldn't like justify spending my own money on it. So to get it as a gift was actually really good, and I think that... I think she did really good on this gift, to be honest with you guys. So there was that. She got me some natural deodorant, which again, ingredients in here are super clean. Yes, it's in plastic, so it's not something, it's not the best thing, but I think that she did good because it is 100% recycled. It says on the bottom, so I was pretty pumped about that. Again, something I will use. But the last thing that I got that was like the most exciting thing is this thing called a Misto. Um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you've heard me talk about this before, but it's basically a reusable aerosol can that you can put cooking oil in sorry about that my landlord was delivering another part of my birthday present from Madison but anyway so this is yeah a misto a reusable aerosol can for cooking oil and I think that that is super super cool so uh, I'll be talking about this more in depth in other videos on this channel because obviously this is a zero waste uh, option and I just I was really pumped about this that she found one in copper because they typically come in silver I didn't even know they came in copper um, but the orange color obviously fits in with the theme of my box and I don't really have a color theme in my kitchen so I was pumped about this okay so I don't think I had anybody else to buy for I'm trying to remember what I recorded like two weeks ago but my mom my dad and then my secret Santa so I showed you what I got from my mom and my dad and my secret Santa other thing I mentioned is that Madison and I were not buying each other Christmas presents but what we decided to do is double the birthday budget and I guess since Madison uh, my birthday is so close to Christmas she kind of ordered like like multiple things that I wanted and then gave me like some of them now and then like is gonna give me the other ones on my birthday I guess that's what she's doing I really don't know but I have some items here that she gave me for like my birthday but also kind of Christmas and they're really exciting so I just thought I would show them with you well two of them are really exciting I think you guys will think are really exciting they're all really exciting to me but to you guys I think two of them will be so really quickly just to mention what they are two things I got uh, that are definitely for YouTube purposes is an external hard drive to store my videos and photos and stuff like that on. This is going to come in so much handy. An extra terabyte of storage is everything I've ever needed. So super pumped about that. Very practical gift. Uh, something that you can't really find secondhand. So I was excited that she got me that. And then I also got this 360 uh, picture time-lapse tripod head. Basically, I can put this on my tripod and then put my camera on it and it will take a 360 like image. And I'm really excited about that or like video time-lapse thing. I'm excited about this. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm getting really excited to make like more creative content. And a lot of people got me things that made that a lot easier. As I stated in the beginning, I think as long as whatever you get as a gift is useful to that person, I think that it's totally fine. Um, and if it, they're good quality things that will last, which is what I have around me right now, then I think that's really good and I don't have any problem with that. Although they're not necessities, right? They definitely bring a lot of value to my life and I'm very excited about them. And yeah, I just... I don't know maybe that's not the most minimalist thing to you and I don't really care because they're really excited to me then but Madison got me so these bottles are super like cute they don't have any plastic on them which is why I wanted this one so it's completely stainless steel it is insulated and the cap is bamboo 
And I just wanted this one to carry around with me like in the city when I'm out on the weekends and stuff because I have one for work but it often gets left at work. And it's a wider mouth, it's a hydro flask. Because at work we have a soft ice machine and I always use that one for there. So that one's kind of like my work bottle and now this one is kind of like my when I'm not at work bottle. So I was really excited to get this because I've wanted one for a while. But because I technically have another water bottle, I wouldn't let myself buy it. So the fact that she got me this one is very exciting. And then the last thing she got me is a stainless steel tippet, a bento tippet that's so cute and I'm so excited about it. If you guys watched my 2018 goals video, um, if you haven't, you need to go see it. But one of my goals for this year is to stop producing waste when I'm eating out and this will allow me to have three different levels where I can put food and if I have something cold, something hot, something that doesn't need to be wet, whatever, I can fit them all in here and it's very compact. And it's just so stinking cute and I'm so pumped. As you can see, it's not too big, but it definitely will be able to have a lot of storage in it. So this is so exciting. Madison did awesome for my birthday slash Christmas and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, that's it. That is officially all of the things. If you wanted to see anything that I talked about in this video, I'll link the things below. I don't know if you guys care or if you like really wanted to see all of this, but I asked you guys on the community tab again and you said yes, you wanted to see this today. So here it is. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell me what your favorite thing that I got is or if you want any of these things or you can tell me if you think I'm not really a minimalist because I like camera equipment and creating things with it. That's fine. Whatever. Tippy is currently taking over my Secret Santa box because it's a box. What else would he do? Anyway, guys, remember until next time, create the peace.